Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Young Now here, and today I am doing another survey spin video. Um, I am sorry for getting this video out so late. Um, I was trying to better in getting my videos out on time. Um, but it's like tomorrow for some of you guys. So I finally got my cash out email. Let me show you that. So see, I got this one today at 5.16 p.m. And the one from yesterday let me show you that And as you can see, if I click, it says Savvy Spin sent you a reward, $5. And there's the reward ID. So it says, congratulations on the Five dollar and one cent service been cancelled. Click below to view and redeem your reward. So, guys, once that's done, you would be prompted with this page if it's been. Since you're five dollars and one cents, what a little, you know, bank, bank there. Because remember, in yesterday's video, I showed you guys, I cast out via my bank. And you guys get cast out in other ways too. 
So this is gonna change. Says can cross a license under five dollar and one cent. Safe spin castle click below to retain. So guys, it would take two to four business days. So again, account holder name, routing number. You gotta re-enter routing number, account number. You gotta re-enter account number and you gotta choose one of these two options. Check-ins or savings. So since I cash out via my bank, um, that is what it said, like right here. See, it's like a little house, but whatever card you pick is gonna go like straight onto that card. But for this, I'm going to. Go into my information because I chose to cash out via my bank. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And also If you guys want to use my referral code, it's right there. I'll post a link in the description if you guys would like to use that. I'll get 25 cents. For those of you that, that sign up, yeah, so I'll do a couple of these. So this is going to be
this is going to be I give it And let me show you guys. I'm not gonna... Keep you guys for too much longer. Because I gotta upload this video. And the longer I take to get this done, the longer you guys would have to wait. For this video to be uploaded. It was supposed to be uploaded at 10 o'clock this morning, but I never got the chance to. Because I was busy doing stuff. But I promise that I will get the video uploaded tomorrow around 10, 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. Yeah, so around 10 a.m. I should be getting my next video uploaded. Hotter temperatures, changing rainfall patterns, and extreme weather events caused by climate change will create new obstacles in our fight against malaria. 
As the planet warms, the world's deadliest creature will migrate to higher latitudes and altitudes, putting millions of people at risk of malaria and other mosquito-borne diseases. When you have flooding conditions, uh, mosquito populations can go up by a factor of a thousand. And when floods come in and you're trying to help people out and your medical services may be limited, all of a sudden you have these mosquito diseases. Those at greatest risk are the world's most vulnerable communities. Over the last two decades, global partnerships, increased funding, and effective interventions like better drugs, bed nets, and various ways of knocking down mosquito populations have prevented nearly two billion malaria cases, saved over 10 million lives, and set the stage for the eradication of the disease. We have to use the effective tools we have today and create new tools that are adapted to these climate challenges. So even as mosquitoes try and survive in new places, we can wipe out malaria for good. That was a short little video. that I had to watch. So guys, there's videos that you would have to watch. But other than that, it's you should be rewarded with some type of sense About 10 years ago, the African country of Djibouti nearly succeeded in wiping out malaria. Then suddenly, the disease roared back. Cases soared from 27 in 2012 to more than 73,000 in 2020. That's a lot of cases for a country of only 1 million people. It was all because of this little pest, a highly invasive mosquito from South Asia. This mosquito is one of the biggest threats in the effort to eliminate malaria because it's resistant to most insecticides and it thrives in urban areas. We were hoping to have no more malaria and to be opening to the tourism, to investment, and having this spike was just a nightmare. The biggest we ever seen in, in Djibouti. Anopheles tefasai is the name of the new vector, and it is having completely different habit than the, the ones we used to have in Djibouti. This one adapted to the urban, living outside, biting outside, and is adapting faster than us. The government of Djibouti teamed up with the company Oxitec to pursue an innovative approach to malaria control. Oxitech is a biotechnology company, and we are the pioneers in using mosquitoes to fight mosquitoes. We insert two small genes into the mosquito's genome, and that allows us to release male mosquitoes that seek out and mate with wild-type females. All of the female progeny from that mating die, thereby reducing the number of malaria transmitting female mosquitoes in the environment. Meanwhile, our self-limiting gene is passed down a few additional generations to subsequent so male guys, mosquitoes, allowing them to continue to carry the fight out for a limited time before they disappear from the environment. 
this video is absolutely give us more opportunity to eliminate so malaria I'm and gonna other press other diseases. Get le plus tôt possible, Djibouti because doit I être only free have de malaria. C'est une maladie qui pétille et qui a un, un, un lourd de fardeau sur notre corps. Yeah. Everything's good. Okay. Alright. So guys, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I will um do my best to try again tomorrow to upload to upload um on time at ten AM or eleven so I could get this video out on time. So, I love all of you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.